It's all good. I assume you have Here's your level up done. Uh, that's a poor assumption to make. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling. willing to bet we assumed you didn't. We were just being quizzically cautious. I was being polite. Nice. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I mean, let's be real. My character has such crazy stat rolls that he's basically already leveled up. But oh, okay. yeah, I'll, I'll, I can just case. do it during the game unless we have. Uh, <laughs> just wait until I don't heal you, on. and then well, you probably can anything. because you, you guys are probably not gonna have combat immediately. I don't even know what's gonna happen this session for the most part. I, I think so, I had a, uh, uh, I had a plan already see. whenever I was making this character, so I think it should be pretty quick and painless. So, <laughs> I figure worst yep. case it ends up being a shorter session, but. Uh, and then we'll we see. play HOTS. You need to start playing <laughs> no. HOTS, Pluto. I am not going to play HOTS. It's not going to happen. I said that for a long time, and then I realized I didn't like League of Legends anymore. But I still wanted the competitive <laughs> see, MOBA See, game. I haven't been enjoying League of Legends, but um, it's HOTS still not going to be HOTS. and competitive do not go together. Um, it's maybe not <laughs> uh, professional competitive, but... It's still like a competitive game, and you can solo queue in it, and I don't know. But it, it's I don't know. I, I my my nidalee got I nerfed, would, so. I will play Guild Wars before I play Hots. Like I will go back <sighs> to playing GVG Guild Wars before I play Hots. I wish I wish I still knew how to play that game, but it's like way worse than League, where I tried to play it. I'm just like I have no idea how to even press buttons. Because I played it with a completely different keyboard. Anyways, we we can start whenever. All right. Uh, well, if you remember where we ended last session, uh, you guys are in inside this tower, basically, like this little uh, out of place tower that it turns out was a Cratius tower. So you guys have finally met her. Um. And uh, Amber ended up deciding not to get her memories back, at least not yet. But you know how to if you ever change your mind. What does Burgar actually think about this? About what? <laughs> about this building, I guess? No, the memory. The situation? About your memory? Does Amber like ask Brugar about that? Like, do you think I should get my memories back? Is that is that maybe something Amber goes and asks somebody about? Yeah, she'll ask Brugar that. Do you think I sh if if you think I think you should get your memories back? Yes, that is the question. And. Did you tell Matt, the player, what we were told about your memories? Like how it was very difficult for you and blah, blah, blah. Matt you... watched the VOD, right? I listened to it. But I mean, if you want to tell me anything right now, it's fine too. Well, I don't really know much, but... Uh, apparently... I've been thinking about it overnight since we did an overnight rest here. I'm not sure whether or not I should just leave leave things as they are or actually pursue this a little bit more. Brugard tell asks you, what are you afraid of? I don't know. That's that's the thing. Apparently You're you're afraid some... of something. Otherwise you'd uh, you'd yeah. probably do it. So you got to ask yourself, what are you afraid of? Amber thinks on that. Probably afraid that uh, if you get your memories back, you'll want them taken away again. Hmm. That is At least that's what I'd be afraid of if I was in your position. She would do it to herself again? Like an endless cycle? That she would want to. Well, 
That's the that's the worry, right? Because Amber erased her own memories, basically. Right. So if you remember why you erased them in the first place, who's to say you wouldn't just decide, oh crap, I don't want that. I gotta do the same thing again. Yeah. That is something she's afraid of right now. I know you don't know me very well, but if I were in your position, I'd trust myself that I knew what I was doing when I made the decision in the first place. I wasn't asking you, I was asking Bruga. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just 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 trying to help. <laughs> Sorry. You you've helped a lot. Raziel, or just Raz, as Brugar says it. And he'll give you a pat on the back, and uh, he says, You've proven to me that you, you're worth your weight and salt. Uh, I was pulling some punches back there so that it gave you the opportunity to put your best foot forward. I appreciate that opportunity from you. If I had been fighting at me full strength, the creature would have been bashed and dragged and all sorts of nasty things. But you needed the the opportunity. Oh, surely. Yeah. That's a good man. I pat Ruger on the back, letting the newbie look heroic, making him feel better about himself. <laughs> and then I continue to advise and counsel Amber. Whatever... Whoever you were back then that wasn't ready for that wasn't ready for what happened, ask yourself now, are you ready to to face what you couldn't before? Oh no. But when I am I know I know where I'll go. Or I know where to go. <laughs> okay, we ready to start heading back? Sure. Are we going back to the material plane? I don't think I applied night's uh, rest. Where myself. are you guys going? I don't know. We're going back to the tower so we can go to the astral plane. Oh, well, okay. that. We I might guess. make a pit stop in the material plane, though. Because, you know, it's on the way. Sally looks a I don't little know harder got... than before. Did we get any wealth from that last fight? No. No, not really. No. The well, wealth I have 13,779 gold pieces. So, I need to do something with this. Yes, I will say that I can craft stuff if we have some time. We may want to do that before we head off to uh, the... Uh, what's it called? Astral Plane. So that's where you guys are deciding you want to go, right? Yeah. Okay, so... so we're going to make a pit stop at the material plant. She's going to ask point? you... She's going to ask you what you're, how you guys are planning to get around in the astral plane. Uh, I believe you can just think your way to move in a direction, and you, you can move like that, right? You kind of need to be able to fly for most of it. There's some places where you can walk, but... Oh, there's I can't little... fly. Like, floating rocks and whatnot that things are on sometimes, little miniature miniature planets and uh, such sometimes there, but the most part, the easiest way to get around is to uh, have some way to fly. I mean, I yeah, I don't have any way of flying, so this would be a concern oh, to me. Also, keep in mind that the uh, some of the conditions there are uh, there are definitely also really powerful things living there, and uh, it's a very it's a dangerous place. 
Just make sure, make sure you're ready there. When does Phantom Steed learn how to fly? Uh, good question. Oh, I think at this wow. level you're at right now, it would be close. Yeah, it's 12th level, I guess, it's... is when it gets airwalk. So you guys are close. Oh, because that would make things so easy. I could just shadow conjure a phantom sea. Yes, wouldn't it? No, no, no. I could shadow conjure multiple phantom steeds and just be like, failure will saves. They're real. Trust me on those. But, no. Okay, well, we are going to have to do some adventuring uh, to either find ways to fly. Uh, how much... How much do you flying carpets cost? Uh, to find more god-killing weapons. Yeah, so the idea there is theoretically to find basically where the one you have now was originally stolen from. Yep. If you go there, you can find either more of that material, or you could find, you might, you, I mean, the guy that, that was stolen from makes actual weapons out of them, so... You might be able to get like an actual, real weapon instead of just a bolt. That would be you have nice. to shape. You have to form into whatever, or you might even be able to get him to like, like whoever it is that makes these into like use your block you have. Maybe he'll make it out of it. I don't know. It'll be difficult though to convince him probably because this this one was stolen from him, so he might just get mad about it. I mean, you haven't yeah. you don't really know much about about this guy like other than that. Maybe we're not that, ready to Pretty go much to what I just means? told you is what you know. That's that's what Kraisha said. Yeah, yeah. I thought I read somewhere that uh, the astral pain was not like that, but I guess I'm wrong. It's possible that uh, maybe that's how it worked in three five. I don't know. That's what Kratia says? No. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. <laughs> if we want a powerful smith like that to smith us weapons, then I think it would be more effective to somehow get into like his good graces or do a favor for him rather than uh, confronting him like in combat. Well, and keep in mind... Uh... Kind of like the whole thing about, like, you know, why don't you just beat up the shopkeeper and steal all his magic items? It's because he can just use those magic items. So, similar sort of thing. This guy's got a bunch of really powerful weapons. Probably knows how to use them. So it's probably probably pretty dangerous to just go <laughs> if you wanted to try to confront him anyway. Yeah. I mean, heck, we might even be able to offer the... Uh the weapon we have in exchange for his smithing services. I doubt that. I, so I, I just want to time out real quick. What are we trying to do with the smith? I think I've caught bits and pieces. Well, from what I understand is that the whole point in seeking out this like smith on the astral plane is to get him to make more weapons for us that we can con so that we can confront Dick Losar. Okay, the the god killing weapons, yeah, and and the material is. I mean, I know like we found the big chunk of thing in Amber can forge it, but what what's the actual material? We don't know. Okay, an unknownium. It's yeah, unobtainium. It works like adamantine. Yeah, it works like adamantine, but we don't know what the thing is. Okay. Unattainium? Is that what you said? From Avatar. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's on a, on a I like it. <laughs> that, That's Avatar 
reference, right? Can't have you. Uh, Does it exist? Even? It's not really an Avatar reference, <laughs> as far as I. I Isn't mean, that the it is. material in Avatar? Is it I called Unobtainium? I I haven't watched Avatar. I just know it's a really old like term that people use for like generic. Uh, I might be really completely wrong. Rare anyway, metals. Sorry. <laughs> if you've seen Tarzan, you've seen so Avatar. This is what's on uh, the SRD from Occult Adventure. Well, but if we need flying, then we need flying. Well, I mean, uh, I think I think Sally might be able to. I mean, fly. She it's did pretty good. Well, last it depends time. on how you're going plane, there, right? We need so a plane you... to get around. If you astrally project yourself there, you don't need any sort of like extra way to get around. But if you're physically going to the astral plane, like with your actual normal physical bodies and not using like a like a astrally projected version of yourself with a silver cord, then that's why that's when you're going to need to fly. When you were there with Delpho, he he took care of that. He was just like, "Here, here's fly. Here's life bubble." Okay. I mean, I can cast fly, but I don't have enough to get us anywhere. Like, right. Last important. that long. We would need like overland flight, I think. Would that I not can't even cast work? that on you guys. It's personal. All right. Let's say yeah, I, yeah, I can scrolls. commune with my god and see if I can come up with a way. But I'll the best way head, would be if you anything. had something like. Uh... A flying, uh, like a flying carpet or a chariot or something like that. Something. Mm, something like who has thirty thousand gold? Flying carpet. Flying carpet. <laughs> Amber, flying carpets are pretty expensive, you can though. Make one. They'll just take us a They while. are really expensive. They're like a hundred thousand gold or something. A hundred days. Dang. Well, let's go. Uh, we work. Don't, we don't have a hundred thousand gold though. <laughs> uh, but let's let's go back to the material plane and uh, do some purchasing stuff. Uh, and maybe we we know of something that we can use to astral project, right? Maybe I can figure out a way to use that artifact. I wonder yeah, if there's any the... bounties we could take for uh, evil creatures. That's how I used to make money. You do actually. Oh, I still make money. The, uh, only only person in this party who's used it is uh, Amber since Philippe died. Yep. But we might be able to astral project ourselves, uh, like into the astral plane, if we can figure out how to not immediately connect to Declaw Sar. Yeah, possibly. I think so this that's what I'm going to go star, he now, hangs out on the astral opposed, plane? As opposed to going nope. to the metagamey thing of, let's gain two levels so I can travel there using Phantom Steed. <laughs> uh, so, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to the material plane. Eventually. We need instant you, transmission. You planning to uh, walk there, or do you want Kratia to teleport you there? Uh, if she wants to plane shift us there, I suppose that works. Oh no, she was offering to teleport you to the tower. Oh, that uh, works too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's... she's Willing to do that. We'll do that. I think she can teleport everyone. Uh, let me double check how many people is this exactly. She has to teleport a pony and four people. Uh, well, five, one of them small. So that's like a quarter person. Or a half person, I don't know. Hmm, yeah. I, th 
think she might be able to do that. Um, where's the number you can do? She might not. It's it's actually she might not be able to do it all in one go. At least she might have to like take two trips or something. Yeah, I don't. I don't think she'll be able to do it unless she's like level twenty. <laughs> It's rough, Bring one that's why I pick up willing, teleport. Medium or smaller creature per three caster levels. Um Yeah, she could if if you actually if if it wasn't for having to bring the pony, <laughs> she actually could do it. Can you turn your item into your pony into an item like uh, uh <laughs> like Hester can? Yeah. Alright, so she'll do it she'll have to do it in two trips basically, but she will uh she will do that. It's weird that teleport has that, but like oddly enough I don't think plane shift does. <laughs> no, plane shift is up to seven uh, peoples. Yep. But that's because it's usually a higher level spell, except for clerics. Or if you take the new feat from uh, Planar Adventures, you can, wizards can get it at fifth, as a fifth level spell. Oh. Uh, as a spell like ability or as a spell? Nope, they just add to their spell book. I think there's an archetype as well that gets it, but there's a feat you can just take if you're a normal wizard. But yeah, yeah, she'll uh, she'll offer to teleport you uh, to the tower because she she knows the tower. She's she's been there before. Of course, she knows the tower. So whenever you guys are ready, she'll she'll do that. Sure. Are ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, so, let's see, she'll off, she'll take first group and the second group, you guys want to divide up into two groups, probably won't matter, but, you know, in case a mishap happens, you never know. I'll go in the second group. And she takes, uh, Kale, uh, Raziel... And, uh, I guess just Kale and Raziel first group, and then second group would be Brugar, Tiki, Amber, and the horse. And pony. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Teleport. Nothing goes wrong. She comes back. So, yeah, that was no mishaps. So she manages to get everyone back over to the tower, which is, uh, still standing there when, like, you don't have to summon it forth or anything, it's actually still where you left it. Okay. In uh, Shadow Kiramaga. And, uh, yeah, so she says, well, I guess, uh, be seeing you, let me know if, uh, need anything. I will. And, uh, she says, good luck, and then teleports away again. You guys are okay. now back at the tower. Since we guys, since he did do it this way, I'm sure there's some fetchlings that are like, "What happened to those guys?" I wonder. <laughs> I hope they didn't die. Well, they might find uh, some remnants of Kaiton. That's true. You guys took out the uh, strongest Kaiton of that group too, so should be so, less of an issue uh, now for them. We need to do a, uh, a, uh, funeral for Philippe. Yes. I think I'll just give his body to, uh, the Phrasma Temple here in Karamaga. Okay. 
Well, he, he didn't, didn't try worship to... them, did he? Yeah, but they take care of the dead. I'm not gonna try to get him resurrected. I mean, out of character, we know he's not gonna want to be resurrected. But in character, you guys don't necessarily. You, know you that, know, right? you could totally resurrect him. Um, he may uh, not want to continue with the too. party. He may retire because theoretically, he died. you could resurrect him and have him be, have him retire too. But yeah, I mean, I, I can tell you right now that if Philippe is resurrected, he will not want to go adventuring. Um, Actually, anymore you know, just we'll because the of the Faraz trauma. No, with with the Temple of Phrasma, do they do resurrections there? Phrasma, yeah. Okay, we'll go there and we'll get them to do that using Philippe's money. Does Philippe okay. have we'll money? Sell off all of his stuff to get him the best resurrection we can. <laughs> I'm sure he'll love that. Hey, it's all going Buzz. to him. Well, did you guys use yeah. my money to resurrect me? You didn't have to. No. When you guys, well, when yes, you died, sort of. we used it was well, kind life, of. Wasn't it or not? Basically, when you guys, when you guys, when you died, they brought you back from. It was the. Uh, it basically just came out of what you guys were gonna get. Uh, Oh, like that's part right. Of what From you're the get paid because it was during that uh, gladiator, gladiator fight, basically. So they're like, like, oh well, you put on a good show, and they kind of just they took care of it because they had. We'll just not pay. They had you a bunch of extra anything. money, basically. I think they still paid you a little bit, but like a hundred gold per person or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we do that. Okay, so um, you're back in. Let me get the tokens you're selecting when we go under the Karamaga map. Um, we're still on the uh, same day, right? This is the. I mean, it's a different. It's a new day after. Like, after you guys fought the Kaitons, but yeah, it's still the same. That the same day. The day after that. So, I mean, you guys got to rest. Uh, at the end of last session, beginning of this session, so you don't... All your spells should be back. Okay. So I'm gonna spend uh, five days doing that. Boots of out of combat healing. Okay, so here's the thing: is I think if I'm going to have those in there before you decide to do that, uh, I'm think I'm going to go with what the Pathfinder Society nerf on them is, which is I believe it's a limited to like once a day or something like that. Often and like has an attunement period. Okay, then I might not do that. Uh, Brugar, you wanted me to make something, right? The gauntlet of maneuverability out of the crab, or, of, like, maneuvers out of the crab claw? Yeah, that would be pretty cool. How much money do you need? Because I have a lot. Uh, I think it's only 2,000. I need 2,000 for you. Okay, then I will uh, go and buy 2,000 of whatever material reagents uh, you need to make it. And I'll and subtract that you from want? my... Uh, bull rush? Is it, is it one gauntlet or it's one pair of gauntlet? Uh, you get a combat maneuver check. For the pair. Okay. 
but we're we're having it be crab claw gauntlets because that's that's cool Leo. yeah yeah because my tool <laughs> claw so are you guys like on this day gonna go get the leap resurrected then yeah yeah i think we should do that too yeah okay and then does uh Zidarium, does philippe have like the money, I guess, on him already without having to sell all the shit, or do you have to sell some of it, or how much is it? Well, it's five thousand um, for the diamond. You need five thousand for the diamond, but you need a little bit more than that for the services as well. It's gonna be probably like six thousand or so. Yeah. Uh, he has the fourteen thousand gold in gold. Oh, okay. He can afford it then. Yeah. <laughs> He's rich as crap. So that's for, the other for thing once too. So he does, finally learned how to manage his money. Does Philippe like want to be resurrected then, or does he choose to stay in living in the afterlife? I guess. <laughs> or well, dying, the, I mean, in the afterlife. The party doesn't. Oh, oh, you mean if they try and he can choose not to? Mm -hmm. That's yep. that's correct. It's only so the ra uh, raise dead, reincarnate, all those spells. They only work on living tar or willing targets. So that's the thing. Like a character can die and then just be like, I don't want to come back. So who knows? Maybe Philippe would prefer hmm. to stay on think about this. on another like. Where where is he at right now? Uh, like, Philippe's is it defined? Soul. It would be either in the River of Souls on its way to, or at this point he probably is in the Boneyard waiting for his soul to be judged by Farazma. However, Farazma just knows if you're going to be resurrected or not, so mm -hmm. it's kind of those like. Uh, like, Frozma's super smart, and so she knows. So if, if Philippe is uh, going to be resurrected, she hasn't done it yet, basically. So he, he's just he, waiting for I, either... I, he's either waiting I, to be Philippe res or will be definitely, judged. Philippe will definitely want to be resurrected. Okay. So that's um, he, he feels like his life was taken away suddenly without warning. Uh -huh. And, you know, he feels like it wasn't fair. Like, how, how can life be so cruel to have all these crazy shadows just come and kill me? Like, <laughs> it was totally yeah. fair. Come on now. No, no, no. I, 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 I the player, think it's fair. No, I, I, the player, think it's fair. It's, it's Philippe who thinks uh, that okay. it wasn't fair because he's not wise. He has like seven wisdom. Sure, sure. So all he's, right, he's, so, uh... Instead of blaming himself, he's blaming fate. So yeah, you go well, to then, Temple uh, for Ozba, and they and they you know they see all this money that you have from Philippe, and they say yes, we can we can try to bring a, his his spirit back if he is willing, and uh, you know they do the the spell casting ritual. It takes uh, like an hour or some shit to cast, but they do, and Philippe does come back. They just cast Raise Dead on him, and he's back with like one hit point and two negative levels. So he looks he doesn't look in great condition, but he is back. What does he do? What does Philippe do? He's like just super apologetic, like sorry I let you guys down. Like I, I don't know what happened. They came out of nowhere. Thank you for, for bringing me back. I, I wasn't ready to leave this world yet, but I think I am ready to leave adventuring. I think I think I've finally seen that it's not really for me. Uh, you guys have always been better at it. I, I found my strengths in you know, li living in cities and, you know, investigating crime. And, and that's what I want to go do. I want to go be a private investigator. I tell Philippe that there's and... no shame in stepping down. You've done more mm -hmm. than uh, the lot of this city can uh, can claim. That's uh, good to hear, Burgar. I... I, I'll never forget the times we had. I, I learned hey, so much. You can still reminisce about them. You guys uh, are in Karamaga right now. Yeah, I, I yes. think I want to stay here. There's a lot of uh, interesting things going on. Lots of interesting people. And I'm sure there's plenty of room to, to hire some, you know, uh, someone to, to find out information. Yeah, go go home and research. Be safe. So Philippe, Philippe's <laughs> going to 
asked that he he's gonna go and and get rest because he's super tired, and he's gonna stay at an inn for a while, and mm-hmm. then look to buy a permanent residence in Karamaga and work okay, and as he's a, got a private investigator. Karamaga. He's got. He's got several thousand gold still, even after being resurrected, so yes. he probably like can afford to do that. Place? He can probably also afford to get rid of those negative levels eventually, too. Even, so yeah. it only costs like a... Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's a little bit more than a thousand gold. But, yeah. Yep, that's... <laughs> that's Fleepin'. Yeah, he'll, he'll say before he leaves, you know, I, I hope our paths <laughs> cross again, and Fleepin'. when they do, it's... uh. You know, it'll it'll be a that is time. uh something that could happen is is a Kai could end up <laughs> killing Philippe off screen or something. <laughs> that would be messed up. But he was scrying on him earlier. That's why could, I say but... that. Perhaps Philippe will start working for a Kai. No, he won't. <laughs> I but don't think he would do that. He, he won't. He would. He won't. He won't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe I that's know. the thing. So, I mean, the this party, if they're playing, they might be playing to stay in Karamaga a little bit. It sounds like. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stay well. in Karamaga a little bit. Uh, while at least like a week or two, because I have some magic items that I want to make. Let's say two weeks. Yeah, I've got some money to spend. What's uh, Raziel's... How is he reacting to being in Karamaga? I don't think he's ever been here before, has he? Or maybe he has, I don't know. Uh, he has. Um, he's done some monster hunting jobs out of here before. It's, it's you know, it, it's a good place to get that kind of work. Um, lots of weird stuff happening, strange creatures and magic gone awry and the such. Mm-hmm. Um, so he, you know, it's not somewhere he's necessarily spent a lot of time, but he's been here before and it's, he's not reacting okay. any particular like way. Just, he, he seems to have like a little bit of knowledge of the city and especially of the type of people here. Uh, that was XP, I think. Okay. I got that already then. And as for how I'm spending the next two weeks, um, hmm. Wait, did we just gain XP? Oh, that was no, from no, last, session. last session. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what'd we do? Fuck. I'm listening, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of the time is going to be spent by Razael uh, commuting with his god, whose name escapes me at the top of my head, but uh, go gone something. I'm not at my Gosray. computer. Gosray. Gosray, yeah. Um, and he, he's going to, from that, learn about new powers he can call upon uh, oh, okay. from that well, communal time. He's, so, he's, okay, level he's up, leveling so. up. Basically, <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I mean, it's not like Gazer is just gonna be like, "Oh, hey, by the way, if you need this thing, you you have all these new things to your at your disposal." Like that's not how. Yeah, so it's gonna be lots of prayer, meditation, and that kind of stuff. What are you talking Oops. about? Kirkana talks to me in person all the time and says, "Here." Right, but <laughs> I mean. It's... No, that's okay. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tiki doesn't know her god. They've never formally met. So you guys gonna Where stay in the blinking tower while you guys are here? Uh, are you guys gonna go over probably. if Amber so allows me. Yeah, the canary house. A nice comfy house, <laughs> right? Yeah. We yeah. Can, we can stay. Of course, if. You know, people see you like going in and out of the house. Rumors, quieter, rumors, rumors might spread. Why yeah, yeah, so more fuzzy I'm not loud. I I'm not going to be going in and out of the tower. That's yeah. I'm going to be pretty much in there the whole time. I may go out for like supplies or like food now and then, but for the most part, I'm going to be in. Inside I'll just the go tower. in and out of my tower invisible, like. I like to think that. uh... 
like at least on the the first night uh that brugar and and philippe go uh uh catch up i don't know if brugar like tells they they go down to the bottom (laughs) yeah Yeah, i don't know if brugar tells philippe how distraught he was about about him dying oh he doesn't tell him that oh yeah until he drinks (laughs) <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe Tiki lets it slip. Who knows? Oh yeah. Like Tiki, really Tiki like tells him about it. like how. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was too. Welcome back. Sleeps very touched. I wish I could have done more. I wasn't quick enough. I'm sorry. Nah, it was a lesson I had to learn. I'm just glad that I have friends like you to give me a second chance. I I nod approvingly. <laughs> <laughs> What's Philippe's opinion on uh <laughs> on Razael? Um, Philippe is like, damn that that dude looks like he could uh. Really do some fighting a lot oh, better yeah, than I could ever do. Yeah. This is this is a narcissist here. <laughs> no, I the the whole his thing is like the, the death yeah. has made Philippe realize that he yeah, wasn't yeah. playing to his strengths, like, and, and oh. that this Raziel guy is way way better at. Oh yeah, he probably carries himself different yeah. looks. He probably oh, okay. carries himself differently than Philippe. I guess. I could, I could see that. I mean, he's, like, super, like, strong, big, and he has, like, just m- big daggers on. on either side. Like, he looks like <laughs> I just thought like it'd be funny, though, if, uh, side. <laughs> I did think it'd be funny if, if Philippe was like, I wouldn't Philippe trust that jealous. guy. <laughs> Philippe's like, don't trust uh, okay. him. He, he looks... Hmm. There's Actually, something wrong you know, about him. <laughs> no, Philippe, but... Philippe, Philippe is going to sense Razael's motive, because that was one of oh, Philippe's okay. best roles. Sure. Um, where did my character... See, I have too many character sheets open now. Uh, <laughs> well, you won't have to go. keep the Philippe one open for very much longer. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> that doesn't even have the minus two levels applied. <laughs> Uh, Philippe, Philippe doesn't actually care. He's just like, eh, whatever. I'm super weak and tired. I don't care what happens until I feel better. That's that's what that means. I mean, it's still a good role, but like, for Philippe, he's just like, forget it. So that's like a that's like a thirty or some. That's like a yeah, thirty-seven or something like that. I think. 38. That's a 38. Well, I guess it kind of, I guess if you're not on an investigation, it's a 30. It's a 33. Yeah. I don't remember how this stuff works. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Oh, yeah, my one doesn't count cuz my roll is actually the be- 2d20 drop one. So I actually rolled a 17. I forgot. Okay, so Philippe does actually have an opinion. He's like, man... Can I wear a headband that, with my goggles? That dude... Yeah. Uh, yes. What, headband, headband with necklace? Headbands, headbands yeah, and goggles take different, different slots. slots. Yep. Oh, goggles. Okay. Yeah, goggles are a different slot. Alright, this, this is going to sound super meta, but honestly, Philippe is like... This Razael guy, like, I have a good feeling about him. Like, he seems like a true dude. And <laughs> a menace on the battlefield. Because, out of character, that's actually how Razael is, and Fleep got it spot on. Mm, yeah, he's got good uh, sense motive. Okay. Uh, what? I mean, I don't know why you're being what so shifty about the... my new character, who you don't know that well. No, it's not that. <laughs> the astral plane speed. I can't hear you. I uh, Mantis is super I've quiet. Had to I haven't turn turned up, up all to the way. Fifty at this point. Pretty much. But yeah, Mantis, you're getting quieter as the evening goes. You're super fuzzy. That too. You made him rage. You made him rage quit, guys. Good job.
I bullied I'm him sure he's trying to fix he's it. The sa- he's the same way on Discord, though. Like, I don't it's the, it's know his downstairs mic, um, cause it's hot, so he has fans uh, downstairs, so... Pluto. Yep. So, Am I still well, super quiet? Yeah, nope. No, you're, you're way better now. Well, Amber is doing the, uh, enchanting of my gauntlets and whatever else she's doing. Brugar wants to go find some other, uh, enchanters within Karamaga to do separate, um, enhancements on his equipment. And that is okay. going to be he wants to en- he wants to enchant his plate mail into uh, plus two plate mail. He wants to give his plus one heavy steel shield uh, up to the next tier, the plus two, and also get his plus one um, cloak upgraded to plus two resistance. Okay, uh, I think he should be fine to do all those. The Karamog has a purchase limit of. Five or fifty-five thousand gold. So anything, as long as it's, you know, below that, you can do it. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious though, what is going to be the cost? Do you want me to pay retail because he's prepared to pay retail for it? Yes. <clears throat> Unless you have a reason okay. you can give me for why you could pay less. Like if you, uh... yeah, I don't know. I can't think of. What I don't know doing, unless but... he can tote his like legendariness. He does have a legendary status with the people here. That's true. Or if they want to buy a huge umbral dragon hide from me and umbral dragon teeth and claws. That's potentially uh, depending on who you go to. They might they might take that and be like, yeah. Um... Like getting it to you uh, in exchange for like that, and then you pay like a half or even third of the price in exchange. Like because they're like, I'm taking this. If I take this umbral hide, I can make some other really good shit. Yeah, if I can get the uh, the full plate for two thousand gold instead of the four thousand gold retail, then I'll throw in the uh, the umbral dragon okay. hide. Yeah, they'll the they uh, will. Yeah, you because know, they they can't they can use the umbral to make like uh like dragon skin armor basically. And yeah. And how that, often does so. uh, umbral dragon hide come into Karamog? Not very not very often. Uh, probably when you presented a uh, armor made out of that. Uh, easy come, easy go. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was gonna be like he, he's energy, he's indirectly energy getting resist it. armor. He's indirectly getting uh, armor made with it. Yeah. I suppose. Okay. <laughs> and uh so yeah, yeah, they'll do they'll do that then. They're uh yeah. exchange the uh umbra for half off on the upgrading for your full plate. Alright, sweet. Hmm. What kind of obscure item do I want? Oh, and I guess uh, Razael doesn't already has his most of his money spent. <laughs> so. I want to sell the decanter of endless water. Does anybody protest? Not particularly me. Nope. If it was a decanter uh, of endless like mead, then I would. <laughs> Are we going Does to split anybody that protest? with Razil? Does anybody protest the uh, uh, storm strike also being sold? That tried it? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool, but I can't use it, so I don't have any problems. And I don't mind I mean, about the I can turn it into a hammer for you every or so splitting. often. You can turn it into a hammer? Oh, hold on, that changes things. <laughs> can you turn it into a one-handed I mean, yeah, weapon? I can turn any weapon into any other weapon. Are we splitting this money uh, with Trident is... Yeah, I think we can. I don't see why not. There's five of us, right? <laughs> That's half oh. price and then divided by five. Unless I can't sell it for half price, I guess. No, you can sell it for half price. Okay.
Sweet. Does anybody else have money? I'd like more. <laughs> yes, I have money. I'm to decide how to spend it. I have 3,000 gold left over after uh, enchanting my stuff. So those I have 13,000 left over. Or 14,000 now. On uh, side note, the uh, the Trident as well. Um, I don't know if Razael is interested in it at all, but uh, the Trident is Gosray's, uh like weapon. Yeah. Basically. Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, that Trident use... in particular is probably a uh, something that most. That, I mean, the thing is, is, is Razael just happens to use daggers instead, but uh, mo like it, it's. A lot of people that worship Gosray would probably be like really interested in that trident. Oh yeah, I'm interested in it, but I mean, it's uh, not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to use it, but I mean, I'm it. A use for it may come up in the future if I run into another follower of my order and I want to um, give him a gift or something. Give it to Brugarn. <laughs> armor. Does it? like spend the charge of the spell or does it stay in the armor and continually like activate what are you talking about now spell is storing armor in armor storing? you can't do that can you yes you can oh i, I think you can only spell can... weapons they tend to Certain work differently though can be like spell storing on armor right uh and i'm pretty sure you have to recast you have to cast the spell after it triggers it um you have to like yeah, uh, store that's a new what one in there asking. yeah yeah you can just but the spell but the thing is you can it's normally cast Right, and you can, you if it, you once it uses a spell, you just recast it when you have when you have some downtime mm -hmm. later and put it put it a stays new, there new copy of it in there. Dis, uh, discharged. Correct. So it can be in there for days or weeks or years. Right. When you're doing a campaign like this where there's a lot of downtime, you're just during that downtime. You know, you have a day where one of those days you put the spell back in there. Yeah, I I'm doing spell storing too on one of my daggers, and it's basically. You know, as long as, like, in this case, I'm storing it now, and then it's, like, I get a free level 3 spell every day, as long as I use it. Okay, I know what I'm going to do Unless I use all my spells. Um, I'm finally going to get my Cold Iron Warhammer enchanted with a plus 1 for 4,000. Okay. Finally. So just want to double check, the only gold that Razael has is what he had left over from character creation from the base level 9 wealth, uh, plus the, the 900, 900 that just got sold. That, That's correct. Perfect. Just want to make sure that I didn't miss something. Oh yeah, like, I should. Uh, I don't know, no, guys, guys, Felice, like here, Raz, I'll have ten thousand gold or seven thousand gold. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If he tried to do that, I would be like, "You are. He's revoked. I'm he's now an NPC." I'm pretty sure that's insane. <laughs> You're now an NPC, yeah, Felipe. Never mind. Actually, maybe I do want to play as Felipe now. <laughs> what language do uh, things on the astral plane speak? Uh, it varies. Um, like on what okay, is actually out. what you actually run into there in the in the astral plane. Should I take Yeti as my language from my headband? Then? Uh, Yeti. Like, you know, you never know. You never know when that yetis? when that'll come up. The astral yeti. You never nobody know when that'll come up. Nobody expects to run into yetis. Let's be honest. That's not. We true. did in uh, in secrets game. Yeah. Yetis. In Rise of the them. Rune Lords, I think, I think it might be useful. <laughs> or I could just take ancient Assyrian, and we could go look up the god. Stop. We can we it's we're playing Mummy Maker now, guys. Oh, Mummy Maker? That sounds fun. It's like King Maker with mummies. I wanna make some mummies. Kingdom building rules just with mummies. Yeah, mummy sure. Build. Why not? Mummy peasants. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> nah, All right, I'm, but a, I'm gonna take done on Yeti because you don't know when. 
it might come up. Oh, okay. <laughs> it could. I think it's kind of on me now to like make sure it actually does at some point. Oh jeez. No, you, you don't have to. <laughs> Just put I mean, it on a random chart and I don't I don't have to, but yeah. But I might feel bad if I didn't. Well, uh, that's the funny thing I feel like like when I'm game mastering these adventure paths is all these <laughs> players are like, I'm going to bring all these things and I'm like, you know, in my mind, I'm like, they're not ever going to become relevant. <laughs> you know, it's like, Meh. Yeah, I think that's fine, though, sometimes. Like, that's, <laughs> that's real life for you, too. Like, sometimes you have, you have a skill that just is not relevant, you know? Like, how often <laughs> is is having skill in GVG been relevant in my life? Turns out not very often. A couple, a couple of years, at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at <laughs> least. Seven <laughs> but that was all. Uh, okay. So <laughs> that I was spend, all backstory. I spend sixteen days, oh. and then I'm ready to go start traveling to. Uh... Yep. Yeah. Brugar is uh, looking very fancy now. His armor is much shinier because it's finally magic. His hammer is also finally magic, and his cloak mm -hmm. and his. Uh, shield are also looking a little bit spiffier and the uh very unique unusual crab claw chitin uh gauntlets yeah i haven't quite purchased it was there more money or no no i think that was no, it because i decided not to sell storm strike wasn't wrong Rugar, trying you to have sell it's it. mine now no i'm trying to buy oh okay does it any does anybody want Storm Strike? I don't have to have it. I mean, I don't How much know. do we get for selling it? Yeah, I mean rather I was a dagger bunch. guy even though like Trident are dope for Gazray. If we get a lot for selling it, I would The thing buy is it's it a unique anyway. item, so I kinda yeah. it's it's named, man. What does it yeah, actually do? It's There's not a, a unique item, but it is a specific item that is tends to be it tends to be used by people like worshippers of Gazray. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's Stormstrike is a it's a it's a trident that can alternate between either doing electricity or cold damage. It has two modes basically. I have a blessing called Stormstrike. And it does it, it functions as a plus one trident, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a plus one trident with either with either frost or or uh, lightning. What do you call it? Yeah, electricity. Yeah. Also, okay, tridents I'm can be thrown as a side note too. Sheet. Yeah, they can. But, like, if you can morph this thing into a hammer, then that makes it way more useful for me. But, I mean, you could do the same with this and a dagger, right? Oh, no, you can't. It's light. Daggers are light. This thing is not a light weapon. I, I, can, I can't turn it into a dagger. I, I could turn it into, like, a... A warhammer. Yeah, a warhammer. I can... I could turn it into a I don't know something that I could turn it into a morning star for myself. But how often am I going to want to yeah, actually to use people with things? Right. If we go into a like anti magic field, I have my masterwork called Iron Dagger anyway. Oh, I do have the ability to uh, fly with one of my blessings now. Um, so Amber, I'm gonna about three days before you finish your uh, 
like you're crafting, go ahead and roll me a will save. Ooh. Someone's spying on you. Maybe. Okay. Uh, so, here's what happens. You feel uh, this present, like this, this feeling as if something like something is sap, like pulling something out of you, like is pulling at your uh -oh. being. But you're able to like shake it off. Like you kind of, uh, you're kind of shaken for a little while afterwards. And you're not really sure what it was. But you seem to be fine after a, a few moments. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, and I hope it doesn't have to do with uh, Ooh, that, that artifact. Me, but we we need to get to make we need to make a move on like ASAP. Um. How long would it take you to craft something that is? It's is it a week per thousand? Yes. No, it's a day per thousand of total cost. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yep, it's a day. Uh, twenty-two week days. <laughs> yeah, that's an expensive item. What are you trying to craft? Celestial armor. Ah. Ooh. Yes, I, I could craft that, but I I want to get to a place soon. Because I have a bad feeling about what just happened to me. Do you tell anyone about it? Uh, I will... Uh... I will consult... Uh... My... My local consultation peoples, Brugar and Tiki. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brugar yeah, because they didn't the experience. Therapists. They didn't explain. They didn't experience anything like this. Mm -hmm. I'm buying. Brugar has a 14 wisdom. Plus two Darkwood light crossbow. Sounds good. Shit's getting real. Well, what kind of aren't what good. kind of pain were you feeling, Amber? It felt like there was uh, something trying to, like, suck my soul away. I'll tell you in game terms, it felt like something was attacking your charisma. Like my my force of personality. Hmm. hmm. I say, and you're sure nothing was like trying to kill you physically, right? Or hurt you? You didn't see anything? No, I didn't. I don't know if stars can answer questions. Um... Well, I mean, this sounds like some... To Brugger, this sounds like something supernatural or magic, and I don't know a whole lot about the supernatural or magic, aside from what I've faced personally. I want to detect magic Amber. on Amber and, like, spend time and see if I can pinpoint something that isn't usually on her, I guess. Okay. Um, as far as you can tell, you only detect, like, her normal magic items. Okay. Tiki puts her hand up to her chin as she thinks. Maybe Amber, you're really smart. Can't you think of like anything that any kind of magic this might resemble? Uh, I will consult my vast memories of what I've read. This does not have my updated stuff that is updated on Hero Lab because I haven't finished it yet. But here is oh, okay. my knowledge arcana. Uh, you're not really sure. Damn, that was a low roll, too. Sorry about oh, that. Oh, look. It is second mantis. Can I IDC awaken Amber? For... Is she an animal? 
<laughs> I just got uh, awakened, so I got a little I bit. I already <laughs> have intelligence. Good, good, good. You can awaken, uh, I am already Sally. awakened. I was thinking about that. But she'd no longer be an male companion. Oh, yeah, okay, then. Not yet, Sally, not yet. <laughs> I think it's, like, within the game that, like, they're no longer an animal companion, but they become, like, a cohort. Well, they're intelligent, so now they can understand any kind of, like, spoken language that they're capable of. Uh-huh. Right, they, they become a cohort. can't serve as an animal companion, familiar, or special mount. Right. But it can be your friend, and if the game master's okay with it yep. hanging out... I imagine it would retain all of its memory, so it would still know you. Mm -hmm. okay. You just lose all of its animal companion bonus. Mm. Uh, but anyway, like I, did I know of any spell that could do this to me? Um, not that you can think of. Okay, I'm going to finish this up and hope that it doesn't happen again uh and start ha and say that we should make haste to uh the the carcanus artifact okay Okay. Well, I guess Amber, what's like what what feeling do you get you should do from all this? I don't know. I I think I think something funny is happening that might be outside of my knowledge. And I It's Is there anyone unnerving. we could try and contact that might be able to help you out? Whether it's directly or, like, maybe divining what's wrong? Uh, yes, the star chart maybe could help us out. That's all I can think of off the top of my head, though. I looked at Tiki. Hmm. What? Dr. Tiki. I'm not a doctor. Paging Dr. T. Yo. Paging the oracle who does oracle things, actually, as opposed to not oracle things. What, what do you want, though? What kind of oracle things do you want? Do you want me to summon kittens? We need to I find out what's that. wrong with, with her. What's wrong with Amber? Or what's what happened? To take her. Well, nothing seems wrong with her tried. anymore. I can maybe commune and ask questions, but I don't know if I get answers. Is it Arim there? By the way, I haven't heard anything from him for a while. Yeah, I'm okay. looking at spells. I'm gonna hold on to Hey Razil, Godzri doesn't know what's wrong, does he? For uh, Amber to craft this armor. Um, I don't know. I'll commune with Godray. Does he know why Mantis was magically attacked? Does he give any insight uh, when I ask what the... Do you have, like, a spell or something that you're using to commune? No, I'm just like praying. Like, spell commune, maybe? Okay, well then, no. <laughs> is there a spell called commune? There is, actually. Um... That, that's what the star chart does, right? Uh, yeah, it's commune. Yeah, it's just the spell commune. I see a bunch of communal spells. <laughs> Not the same thing. Here. Yeah, no, that's way too high level for me. That's fifth level. I only have fourth level. So, sorry, when I say commune, I mean just pray. Yeah, he, he knows. Uh, until my next level. Okay. Yeah, so you're not sure either. So we can do hmm. ten questions. Uh, 
You did see my uh, other thing there, right, Zedarium? Nope. Um. Oh. I don't know if my yeah, Zedarium has um, an he, he doesn't. You, though, yeah. Amber. Not party doesn't know anything, Pluto. <laughs> okay. They probably do now, but <laughs> the characters don't. Alright, so yeah, he's done I, the I don't remember how days. to do anything. You finish up the items that Amber is working on. And uh, what do you do now? Aside from drinking and catching up at the tavern, telling them of my exploits, and generally bragging about my strength and wealth, uh, I do what I can to help Amber and see where it is we need to go next. Okay. Um, um, I'm not sure, Amber, if those are questions I can ask. Oh, Pluto, I also did write up a little bit of, like, a, a bio thing for Brugar I can give you at some point. Okay, cool. It's yeah, not I'd, much, I'd like that. but it should be enough. Yeah, maybe it'll give me something to something to work with, uh, fit in a little bit of Brugar backstory into the campaign. Yeah, the, the really simple part of it is that him and his friend both challenged each other to amass like a great amount of wealth and fame in the hopes that it would inevitably uh help them get back together to rendezvous and catch up I all right mantis we would first need to find out whether or not the star chart even knows about you being attacked Okay, so that could be the first question then. Except um, the amber. Okay, so is that that'll be the first question, and then uh, so yes. Second is spell. Was it caused by a spell? Uh, no. Uh, was it caused by a creature? Mm, kind of? <laughs> uh, <Sorry>. uncertain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Unclear. Is the attacker on the material plane? It's a good question. Yes, yes. Is it, it a Kai? <laughs> is it caused by the tower and then the... No, not caused by the tower. Uh, was it caused by a Kai? Also, no. Was it caused by a servant of Deklausar? No. Was it caused by something that I've encountered before? How many have you asked? Yes. I think that's six. Oh. Okay. Carry on. That's a big one, though. That, that one is caused by something you've met before. Hmm. That uh, can narrow down a lot. Is it related to the artifact of Carcanus? Yes. Is the artifact of Carcanus controlled by non priests of Desna? Uh, uncertain. Or unclear. There's no clear answer to that. Okay, we need to make haste there. Uh, anybody else? All right, who to the has... shrine. Yeah. Any questions As they can what? ask? Oh. Yeah, there's two more questions. Um, I don't think Anybody I have else? any more. Questions. 
Ask if there's going to be a, a treasure to be found. Uh, <laughs> or honor. Fame. Okay. Glory. Uh, sure, I asked Maybe. That. So maybe. <laughs> maybe. Encounter... Good enough for me. Uh, <laughs> minions of Dekalsar on our way there. Uh, maybe. Uncertain. Okay. So I will finish up what I'm doing, and we will make haste there. Okay. Uh, oh, before we go. I'm gonna hire like a taxidermist and whoever's good with bones oh, to dear. take uh, my my demon bear claw and the rest of like the umbral dragon bones and stuff and the teeth to kind of like reconstruct two trophies. Basically, just like a big mounted demon bear claw on the wall of the uh, the bar, and then like a makeshift uh, like skull or like okay. jaw of a dragon to hang up in the tavern. And it'll be like Brugar's uh, victory. Okay, they'll uh, they'll be willing to do that. Probably for only like ten gold, <laughs> or, or maybe so. not even Brugar's victory. It's just the champions' trophies. Sure. Mm -hmm. That way, people will so, ask, "Who's the champion?" Tiki yeah, hangs they out like... with a lot of people with inflated egos. <laughs> What's um? What did Kale end up spending money on? Did you end up deciding not to spend I most of want, it? Well, I want to spend it on crafting celestial armor, but we're going somewhere, so I'm just holding the cost of the material. Well, what you could do is let Amber craft it over time. Yeah, she could be working on it. It'll just take a while. That's but I mean, days do, travel right? are still days getting it done. Yeah, sort of divided by you don't four. Work. Yeah, it takes a long, long. I've also longer, bought but... a couple ticky tech items for critical hits. Oh, okay, those are good too. It'll take almost three months. Yeah, it's if you're doing it while traveling. Well, that's if you're time. doing all travel. At some point, we may have like a few days to sit down, or like a week. Right. But yeah, we're I gonna, mean, you could take you could continue road. to take time off now. Just you know, yeah. I I think it'd be reasonable if Ron just like kept track of the progress and then like yeah recorded it and that way we know. Yeah, Amber will so, work let's see, on it. So see, this is but... basically what we're, we're in the middle of January right now. It'd be like January, actually almost. Yeah, it'd be like January eighteenth right now. Well. No, it'll be like almost the end of January. January 21st. Actually, no, this was... This is... You guys are probably actually right at the beginning of February. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was... No worries. I forgot there was a couple other days behind when I put that date listed. So it's the beginning of February. It's the middle of winter. It's uh, winter right now, but... So it's probably pretty chilly out, actually, in Karamaga as well. It's on the Storval Plateau. But uh, you guys are going to travel towards uh, the shrine, huh? Yep. Okay. Uh, you guys begin to do so, then. And I'm assuming I you guys are just going to... Sorry, what were you going to say? I was going to say I will travel using Phantom Steed. Okay. The rest of you guys have horses in Karamaga, I believe. Uh, yeah, well, Raziel horses. definitely doesn't. I <laughs> yeah, Raziel definitely me. doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab a horse yeah. or I'll buy a horse. Because I think you guys are planning to just Not walk as good there, as a ramp. right? Um, maybe. Yeah, we're going to travel on foot. 
Yeah, we have no means of going super fast. Well, you do, just not there. You could go really fast to uh, Absalom. Right. <laughs> I do have a scroll of teleport that could get, like, one of us there. Yeah. Probably get a couple of you there. Like, Yeah. I think it's like caster level 7 or something like that. Wouldn't it have to be caster level 9? I don't know. I know it's it might be 9. It's whatever the minimum level is for a wizard. Yeah, yeah. it would be 9. It's a 5th level spell. So yeah, you could get three people with that then, I think. Well, four. Three additional peoples. No, oh, okay. But yeah, that would require like somebody to travel by themselves or in a pair. I think it's safer to travel like this and Hope that the priests of Desna can hold themselves off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going as fast as we can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. It also means more opportunity to fight things. And you guys would all be at full health if you haven't already adjusted your health from having rested for like two weeks plus a couple extra days. I have. Um, let's move you guys over to this map. The Varicia world map. I think, uh... I don't even see your guys' tokens on. Oh, there they are. They're over the wrong area, though. I'm just gonna paste new ones. Oh, and apparently some lines. <laughs> Delete these other ones. Actually, did I... Apparently... You do need this one. There you go. Oh, Rise's health increased. I'll do a traveling one of these. Just kidding. It didn't. Well, maybe uh, it did, actually. Sure, I'll roll traveling perception. You're spontaneous, right? Yeah. You cannot use pearls of power. Mm, okay, that's fine. They do have a like pearl of power. Yeah, oh yeah, that wanna be item. Right, there's the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a rune stone or some shit. I don't remember. I know, it's, yeah, it's, it's a rune, rune stone. stone. Yeah. I think it's slightly more expensive. Like double cost. I'm just not gonna mess with it. It is indeed called a runestone of power. Sweet. Beer back in water. Oh, I see. Yeah, you said plus one pearl of power in chat, and I missed it. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. I would have mentioned the same thing. Wait, <laughs> Meguses can't use this? A normal Magus can. Normal but Magus a... can. But uh. Ron's is a spontaneous caster, Magus, so he actually can't. Ugh. Why would you do that to yourself? For funsies. I like it more. <laughs> as long as. But yeah. We we start traveling. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you make your way down through the um, uh, the tunnels of Karamaga again, down to the river, and take the ferry again, right? Or you guys I'm a have some other ride my there. horse alongside the ferry. And I right guess it can water walk. Can walk on water. All right, you do That's that useful. then. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe some of the people on the boat are grumbling about you being a show-off wizard. But uh, yeah, I okay. am right. I am. 
<laughs> you do that. Um, and basically, it's going to go up to Yanderhof over the course of a couple days. Uh, while you're on the boat, well, I guess if you're riding the horse, you can't, but <laughs> sure you want to be riding the horse? If you're on the boat, you can do some crafting. Okay, fine. I'll do some crafting on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'll have my phantom steed walk alongside the boat. Okay, that's that's a good compromise. Strange. Even even Sally's on the boat. Yeah, Sally is but not. But Sally a is an too. actual horse. Horses can ride boats too. What are you trying to say? But can they uh, walk I'm saying on water? that Amber's steed is magical and not living, and does not apparently, care what it's told. Apparently, you should have kept the uh, decanter of endless water because you could have given it to Mantis's phantom steed. If they can walk on water, you probably can do other miracles too, right? No. So we use the decanter of endless water to spew water out into the astral plane, and then have the phantom steed walk on it. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. But oh it's... god. <laughs> Sold already. That's why I'm for saying it sarcastically. Mm -hmm. Of course. Is this Rainbow Bright uh, that you're talking okay. about? You know, like, uh, I will, for the travel time on the boat, I will work on uh, Kale's armor. Rainbow Bright was pretty dope. Yeah, I love the cartoon. Riding a horse on a rainbow? Like, fuck yeah. I want to do it. Wait, let, let me check... Uh, what is the caster level of this armor? It's only five. It's five. Oh, yeah, I have no problem, even if I don't know anything about it. I have a 22 to spellcraft. It's weird, right, how it costs so much, but it's such a low caster level? Because all it requires is you have to be good, fly, and then the feet. Well, I'm not I'm not good. Can I still make it then? Or does that just okay, I don't think it'll you can, cost though. you a like the DC for t uh to make... it makes a DC harder, I think. Yeah. Right? Okay. Like if you don't have the five component because each it, Yeah. Yeah, it's five harder for each component you don't have, I think. Okay. However, some like the only one that you actually are required be... to have. Yeah. The only thing that I think that you're required to 100% have that you can't get around is you have to have the right crafting feat for it. But the other stuff, like if you're missing one of the spells, it just makes the DC 5 harder, for example. So, I assume you have fly, so that one you don't have to worry about. Creator must be good, I think. Well, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, unless that's one of the ones that you... Like alignment restrictions might be like the feats. I don't think. I'm just gonna assume that it just makes it plus five harder though. Okay. Then I should be able to do it, no problem. If I can take ten. Mhm. Mm yeah, you can take ten on crafting. Need to turn off. So yeah, a couple days get to Yanderhof, and then from there you guys will have to go on foot. Uh, do you do anything in Yanderhof? Uh, I can't think of anything you'd want to do necessarily in Yanderhof. Mm, not that Tiki wants to do. No. So I'm good. Nothing in particular. I am though gonna start. Yeah, unless you wanted food. to find that one. Uh... Okay. Yeah, unless you wanted to find like that one dwarf or whatever that helped you guys find the Shawanti. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah. 
But, yep. Alright, uh, so if you don't do anything else, then you guys stay at Hof for a night, probably, and then continue on by foot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I will tell tales of my bravery. <laughs> at, uh, Yanderhof? Yeah. I have to be fair. Alright. Yep. It is a personal goal. Okay. Um. Just get rid of that token. All right, go ahead and roll some perceptions as you guys the next day as you guys are coming up to the shrine. I'm gonna put heroism on when we're getting close. Uh -huh, slightly like, better. When we're within thirty minutes away. Oh, okay. Oh shit! What level is what level spells heroism? Is that level two? I think so. Just level heroism. Three. Level I think three it's level... for wizards. Level three. I think it's lower for bards. It's level two for bard, I think. Let's see, how much does that cost as a potion? Yeah, it's level two for bards. So it's a level two for mediums, and that's it, I guess. Everyone else, it's a level three spell. So it'd be 400 gold as a bard. Okay. Um, could I have bought a potion of heroism for the 400 sure. gold price in Karamaga? Okay. Sure. I'm just going to add that. Always nice to have that on hand. Yeah. Being able to apply it to yourself. Mm hmm. Okay, so uh, when you get to the shrine, you get to the cave, uh, you see, as you're coming up there, you see there's like, you know, the guards basically posted outside, like priests of, priests of Desna are sitting there. And one of them recognizes you guys as you, as you uh, come in there, and he kind of like beckons you over. <laughs> like, you know. I'll hail them and, uh, yeah, proceed. I'm going to detect escort, magic uh, on him. The rest of the group. Uh, you detect magic on him. I'm going to concentrate and see if any of it's illusion magic. Are you doing this in front of him? Uh, it doesn't a... roll a knowledge arcana. Yes, I'm yeah, doing it in front of fine. him. How does he feel about that? I want to sense his motive. Hey. Okay. <laughs> he, as far as you can tell, you, you, you can't really tell. Uh, and go ahead and roll a knowledge arcana. I'm pretty sure you're gonna pass it no matter what, but for identifying schools. Uh, okay. I think even though you rolled a two, I think you got it. Uh, so it's yeah, you detect that. Or right, I know. A bonus twenty-four. Oh, okay. So it's actually a twenty-six. But yeah, you're gonna detect that. Uh, all of his, all of it. Looks like it's just his gear, um, and okay. none of it seems to be illusion school. Okay. I'll tell him, sorry about that. Just, I I had a bad premonition about uh, this shrine, and I wanted to make sure you weren't a demon in disguise. I'm sure you could oh, you well, can understand. Your premonition was right then, because... Uh... Some things have happened since you were gone. What's happened? Uh, you'll just go ahead and go in there. You'll hear more when you get in there. Okay, I guess I'll go in. After I sense his motive, is he leading me into a tarp? Oh, don't worry. If he is, I'll be escorting you. I'll go first. I will protect the party. And take point. 
Uh, as far as you can tell, he is not. Doesn't seem to be. Okay. I'll go inside. Okay, and uh, you do, and uh, you guys make your way toward directly towards like where the shrine itself is, or do you try to find uh, somebody? I I'm going to try and find uh, one of the people who was uh, a leader here before. Okay, uh, you find. Uh, Edwin, the guy that, uh, the priest that, uh, you guys first kind of, like, brought here. Mm -hmm. And so he, he, he sees you there, he's like, did you, did you feel it too, when it happened? Yes. He kind of sighs, he says, okay, well... I'm sure you're, you have a lot of questions, but let me start from the beginning. Uh, we were under siege last week for a while from some demons and uh, cultists, I assume, were aligned with the cult of Deklausar. And uh, this strange man came and, and basically helped us break the siege. And uh, I, we assumed that after that we could trust him. But when he, uh, and he seemed, he seemed very, uh, helpful, right? But when we brought him in and he got within it next to the, uh, next to the shrine, he struck it with something. And that's when anyone, any of the priests that were here that had, had interacted with it could feel this, like something was being ripped from them. And the shrine, as far as we can tell, no longer functions. We tried to uh, capture him or stop. You know, we wanted to find out what what the, what the what he was trying to do, like what his motives actually were. But he uh, he managed to get away, unfortunately. He did, I believe he plane shifted out. Okay, can you describe this man? Uh, he was... Uh, I thought at first he, he seemed kind of like an older man with uh, long white hair. But he, despite that, he was very, very uh, fit. Like, he, he seemed very uh, battle-hardened. He had... Uh, the other thing that was most striking about him is that he had uh, he had the same sort of clouded eyes that Tiki does. Ooh, someone cursed by the god. I'm going to go uh, investigate uh, the shrine. Okay. Uh, does everyone go with him? Or with her? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what this thing is. I'm kind of awestruck by it. Well, you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> You've just been, at this point, this, you guys are talking oh, to him. Once outside. we go to see it, then I'm okay. sad. Sure. I thought we were um, in the chamber already. Right, so in that case, you are following Amber there, then. Uh, okay, so a couple things when you get there. Um... Most of you notice that it is definitely does not look as awe-inspiring as it was before. The uh, normally where it had kind of like these little stars that will uh, kind of within like the uh, massive antlers that kind of stretch out from the from the head of the statue, like they're dimmer. Uh, Tiki, oddly enough, where before that she could see the stars vividly even from outside of normal range, can't see them at all anymore. She might not even realize that you guys are at the shrine, despite you guys saying as much, because she's expecting that. Hmm. And yeah, just it looks, just from even just looking at it, from having those of you that have seen it before, uh, could can probably immediately tell that it's diminished 
from how you remember it. Tiki will actually say, Rather um, of like, where is Hey, it? it looks pretty impressive. Are, I, are we here? We are, Tiki, but it seemed to have lost much of its power. Oh no. Is that bad? <laughs> so yeah, the, Edwin tells you, yeah, he, what he what he did with it is he pulled out this uh, this hammer of his that he had. He struck it with it, and that's what that's what caused it. I don't know exactly what the hammer did, but he hit it, and it and it there was a bright flash. Did the hammer look to be made of special materials? I I couldn't tell. It just looked like a normal hammer to me. Okay. Uh, I'm uh I'm gonna go and try and interact with the shrine. Okay. <laughs> so you up to it and you touch it? Yep. And nothing happens. Hmm. Maybe that's why uh, the well, stars knew about you, Amber, and your feelings. Probably. Uh, the rest of the party should maybe uh, bring up some conjectures on uh, what to ask the char star chart about what happened here while I try and figure out... Uh, if there's any way, if I can see, like, what magically happened to this thing, and if there's any way to restore it. Uh, and I will be spending some time doing this spell crap. Well, we just want to know who it was that came here and did this, right? We and what yes the and hammer no was. Answers. So I guess we can say, was it an enemy of you? Was it your enemy, referring to the star chart? Uh, if it's Carcanus, officially we don't know it's Carcanus responding to me, so I'm going to continue just referring to the star chart, but sure, we can ask it if it was an enemy of them. Yeah. And then... Okay, so is that what you do then? Um, yeah, I mean, are you going to put me on a timer to come up with questions? Because if so, I think we should think about them first. No, I don't think there's a timer on how is it for this, is there? Ten rounds. Yeah, it's one round per caster level. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you probably really want to figure out what questions you want to seconds. ask then. Mm -hmm. You probably want to figure out what the other questions you want to ask are then. What are we calling this? This is a statue or a monument? Or a... It's, uh, you've been calling it the shrine. Shrine. But, yeah. I said, I mean, you, you guys actually did learn about some of its history. Uh, I guess, refresher, maybe somebody has to explain it to Razael. Because he wasn't there. But, uh, yeah, basically it used to be used by... Because uh, Kirkhanis was a travel... Uh, like, one of his... He was a travel deity, basically. Like, travel and beasts, basically. And... Uh, so, because his high priesthood tended to travel around, because that was, you know, what they're supposed to do, they, uh, one of the things, that's, that's kind of the whole point of this, this statue was so that they could stay connected, and if they needed, if they had some sort of, like, issue where the, the high priesthood needed to be communicated with, they could use the statue. And they could also use it to commune directly with Kirkhanis. Obviously, when, nowadays, it had been having issues where you would use it to commune with Declosar instead, which was, uh, you know, a little dangerous. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, so somebody, somebody came in and smashed it with a hammer and it doesn't work anymore. And they don't really I'm going to try something. Or I could try something like tomorrow, if I oh, yeah? learn how to do it. 
Like what? Well, I mean, I need to warpies. ask my god for the favor. Oh. If it's a spell, you're war priest. You have access to all the spells. Right, but I'm a prepared caster, aren't I? Yes, you are. You have to prepare yeah, it. Yeah. So that's why I mean, so, I need to yeah. wait. Yeah, and this is in like the evening, so or the like late afternoon. It's probably closer to in, sunset. In game, I just, just say I I want to ask my god for any yeah yeah of course way to help. But I, I do think I know of something I can try. I I don't guarantee that it'll work, but I I don't I don't think I know enough it, of the properties of this try. to know if my deity has the power to restore it. Well, no, because they said something like they think they plane shifted away. I don't know if you used the word plane shift, right. but I think I heard that. That's actually yeah. the guy that saw him run away, had no spellcraft, basically identified that he okay. used plane shift to get away. Okay, yes. Yeah, so... He might have smashed the hammer. The material plane, though. Yeah, but. He might have. In fact, uh. Well, it... yeah, you don't know for sure if he did or not yet, but yeah. you know he was on the material plane when he smashed the hammer, though, on and broke the broke the shrine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, this probably won't work. How, this thing's a pretty big shrine, right? Yeah. And it like... probably weighs like hundreds of pounds. Mm, weighs thousands of pounds. Yeah, there's no way this will work. Okay, never mind. We're we thinking of using make all or something. Be able to fix it easily. Yeah. Gr make whole greater. Oh, okay. But it's only it's five pounds per level. Artifacts. Well, That's I don't know what the artifact. Is... So I'm just like, oh, it's some magical shrine. Maybe this can make it better. But then I'm like, oh, it's huge. There's no way I can that that I can call upon my deity's power to that extent. Huh. Uh, I think. Uh, the follow-up questions would be to, like, try and figure out which plane this thing's on, or this person's on, with the rest of the questions. Yeah, don't let Tiki ask the questions, or that will be the question. That's my <laughs> Is it important that we fix... Can, can we fix it? Is it important that we get it fixed? These are the kinds of things I'm curious about. Well, that's what Amber is trying to determine while she's uh, letting you guys help Tiki I'm ask saying that's, questions. That's questions we could ask, though, too. Perhaps it was meant to be that it gets destroyed because it was too dangerous. From what you tell me, it let you commune with a demon... Demon Lord? That doesn't sound like a... We project uh, ourselves there, yes. That doesn't sound like a very uh, fun time. Well, it wasn't its original intention, Edwin explains. It was uh, it, it was originally used to commune with with the, the god Kirkonis. You could he was... you can also use it to commune with other of the clergy or anybody who had... It's it's an internet connection. Correct. If I'd uh, if i if we realized that what was happening, if we I mean that's that's what we were supposed to do. If there was any imminent danger, we were I was supposed to use it to to contact Amber or uh, or Philippe, who I don't see him here. I hope he's oh. fine. Oh. But 
Because they were both the two that were, uh... That, that he's man probably I met. charisma drained. He died, but then was brought back. Yeah, he's by probably some charisma drained. Oh, he got better. Not, than... I'm informing mm -hmm. the dude about Philippe's. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm glad that he's. I'm glad that he's uh, well in now. I uh, I only met him for a brief time, but he seemed like a respectable dude. <laughs> Though, uh, his arms looked a little small. I'm not sure how he kept up with this group. Dogs are outside. <laughs> what? Okay, we have eight questions. Well, the important thing is, Rod said his dogs are like outside. Pony? Are you sure don't want to ask, do you like my pony? That seems like a really relevant I, I have another question. Um, who let the dogs out? <laughs> that is a... Yeah, who... That, that will definitely help dogs, Rod. So. Yeah. Oh, it has to be yes, um, no, though. A, we could ask if this guy got cursed by Carcanus. We could ask if Carcanus or your star map wants us to catch this guy in the first place. Yeah, that's kind of in my questions. There. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm walking around because that's what Just I do. Just let me know when you're when you're ready. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and then ten. If he likes my pony, I'm fine with those questions. Yeah, we'll we'll go with that. Okay. Okay. So, first of the questions is: Was the shrine attacked by an enemy? Right. Yeah. Enemy, not um... friend. Attacked by an enemy of you. So the answer to that one would be, uh, no. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, still, do you know how we might be able to follow them? Uh, yes. Okay, that's good. We'll get to that later. <laughs> so do you ask the next question about, uh, yeah. which one? Godslaying God material. material. The Godslaying material. Uh, no. Was the shrine... Well, we don't even know if it's an attacker at this point. What's well, the next question, then? Was the person who smacked the shrine on the material plane? Is, like, are, are, they they on, on... are they right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now. Uh, yes, they're on the material plane right now. Oh, okay. Okay, then we don't need to ask that follow-up question. Uh, it's not a foe. We can ask about regions, though. Uh, are they in Varicia? Uh, yes. Should we meet with them? Uh, unsure. Do you like my pony? No, 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 no. Um, do you want me to restore <laughs> this shrine? Or does the shrine need to be restored? Uh, not yet. Are you at all worried about what happened? Uh, nope. Well, either is Tiki, then. How many was that? Uh, eight. Like six. One, two, three, region... Yeah, six. 
will we know when we are when we should restore the shrine? Maybe. Did the person who did this or was the person who did this cursed by Carcanus? Uh, perhaps. Hmm. That's nine. Who let the dogs out? And who let the dogs out? No, I'm kidding. It's not a, that's not a yes or no question. It's not yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> Uncertain. No. In, uh, in order to uh, further our goal towards acquiring more uh, god slaying weapons uh, should we go west <laughs> uh, uncertain damn <laughs> well guys don't know what to do now yeah it, it it's not of importance tiki says at least it doesn't seem important. Why? Why were you so eager to come here then? What What made you be so eager? She felt something. Uh, if, but I was under the impression that the shrine had been attacked, and it I was, was attacked. Correct. But not of a foe. This wasn't quite what you expected. Uh, and after spending some time, do I have any inkling on how to restore this thing? Um, not, you don't really think that you have the ability to do that right now. Okie dokie. You think it could be done, but it would need very high level magic. Right. Hmm. Is there like a craft artifact feat? <laughs> no, a feat. <laughs> just you need to have certain special requisites met. I mean, if you want to make a little dancing hut, you can. Technically. That's what you should do, Amber. Screw your tower. Let's get a dancing hut. But yeah, anyway. Edwin says, I, I, really, I really wish I knew why he smashed it, though. I don't really understand what his motives were. Mm, yes, perhaps it, he mm. thought that the, uh, perhaps he thought that it would fall into the hands of the, the demons and wanted to prevent them from getting it. That is my conjecture. But I am also curious about what that was that he used to smash it, because I, I... As far as I can tell, he just hit with a hammer, and that broke it. What, a it hammer? seems like a, probably some sort of very strong... Uh, yeah, it was, it was a hammer of some sort. Oh. Sounds like quite a hammer. Oh my god. Yeah. It was. Apparently we're going after this guy so Brugar can steal his hammer. <laughs> steal it. Just see who's worthy of wielding it, him or me. Yeah, man. like somehow acquire it through whatever means. An honorable duel, perhaps? If we duel and he is found wanting, then the champion will claim the hammer. You've already lost to uh, one champion already. That wasn't a duel. Yeah, if it had been an honorable 1v1 duel, Brugar probably would have won, right? Yeah, uh huh. What is this I hear about uh, losing a battle to a champion? <laughs> Brugar's probably like, you don't need to hear about that. I don't want to talk about that. 
But yeah, Razo oh, he's ready for, for him that. now. <laughs> I'm interested. Just disarm him. Oh yeah, we we have all sorts of stuff that can fuck him over now. Yeah, sure. Grigor spent a lot of time training how Do to they like, need to breathe? remove a weapon from somebody's hand. Because if they don't need to breathe, I might be able to do something. His fortitude save is really high. So it, it's, Honestly, it's gonna be hard and it's really gonna high. take a while, but... <laughs> yeah, just wait until I enervate him down. There you go. Then I'll be like, hold your breath! <laughs> or go swim in water, whatever. Or I might, like, just enervate him to the point of, like, you're almost dead, you want to surrender yet? I thought you like, traded out health. that spell. No, I still have that spell. No, no, I thought Tiki traded out the Aboleth long spell. Oh, um, did I? Let me see if I did, I don't remember. No, I still have it. No, oh, okay. I traded out the trip spell, though, because I don't have it unlocked in my hero lab, and it was bothering me that every time uh, I opened hero lab, it was like, you don't have things! Yeah, I think technically the Ablis Lung spell actually is a Gilman racial spell, too. Uh, it's, yeah, it's available because of, uh, Crippley. Yeah. Racial spell for Gilman. Yeah, I'm fine with you using it anyway, but... I think it's thematic anyway. Uh, Shouldn't it, so what are you like, guys gonna do now? Up if that was the case, if I couldn't mm. use it. Well, I think we're gonna sleep. Okay. And then journey back, I guess. We journey. Or a journey lot. someplace else. We do do that though. Mm -hmm. The locals are gonna get like familiar with us passing by constantly. Maybe yeah, I'll good. just camp out here and finish uh, uh, Kale's armor before we continue on. Oh yeah. No, There's also still the dwarves mining, second. mining mithril here too. <laughs> I was gonna make <laughs> like a few uh, of them. Oh. Oh. There's mithril mining going on. Are you yeah, a uh, bit. making any money from that? Yeah, maybe it was very valuable. Yeah, they, they are making some money off of that. No, I'm asking the party if they're making money off of it. Uh, no. This is your mine, isn't it? No. Uh oh. I think I'm going to put Tiki in an agile breastplate. She gonna look so uh, cute. So we'll do watches, and here's my uh, perception without heroism. Maybe we should go hunt down a Kyar doc. That's something you could do. I wonder if Kale wants to do that. Maybe like get some. I mean, that's the yeah, guy who killed your brother. Let's do that. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm sorry, I forgot to buy, but I was gonna also buy a plus two Agile breastplate. Okay, we can say you bought that. Yeah, I've been hoarding money for a while, but, yeah. If you didn't buy it in Karamaga, you bought it in Yanderhof. Okay. Jaegerhof. Now I'm kind of broke Either again. of those places would have it. It's the life of an adventure. Adventures are pretty much always broke, right? <laughs> Get money, spend money. Still die, because you mm -hmm. roll one. <laughs> That's the whole point of uh, Isaiah. I'm just like, I need to get all these all this shit so that I can never fail or save. I think I'm at and then pretty close fail. to that point. Uh... I mean, I can, but it's pretty hard now. If, especially if I, uh, if I, if I, if I, if I know I'm gonna have to like pass it, I just throw a plus eight onto it, and then if I roll a nat one, I get to re-roll it. 
I just need to get uh, Grand Destiny on Isaiah, and then I'll then I can throw a plus four onto saves as well. That might be overkill, though. <laughs> I know the next item I'm saving up for. There's actually a, an item I was just looking at in the list. It was something like a horseshoe, but it was like... I don't know. But it's all about luck, but it was like shared luck. Where you can like hand the horseshoe around and everybody can have the luck for the day. I should go find it. It was kind of spendy, though. What is this? Oh, find it. It's such it's a... a... It's a ray crossbow. No. A, a ray. Oh, I've seen these. Yeah. I'm not getting it yet, but that's what I'm... The next item I'm saving up for. This is what... This is what Nana had. Just holding the cross crossbow. I guess theoretically you could you're aiming the ray attack through the mm -hmm. crossbow. Yeah, you're getting the bonus. So that's supposed to be flavored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's that's like some neat. spell that that like makes wands or something like that. I don't know, but Granted, I don't have all that many ranged touch attacks, but uh, it also helps deal with spell resistance. Yeah. Well, you have one one very important ranged touch attack, which is Enervate. I do, which is why I, it's I'm thinking about making this, and eventually I might also pick up Disintegrate. Oh. Dang. Amber. Amber harms things. Amber alert. <laughs> ha. Uh, but Call anyway. the amber lamps. Yep. Yeah. I do my uh, perception uh, for my watch, and we rest, and then we uh, figure we maybe use the star chart to figure out where Akai is. Are we in your tower? No, we're traveling. I'm gonna do a watch as well. No, we're we're at the shrine right now. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So yeah, even if your perceptions end up being pretty bad, uh there's also like, you know, a bunch Mention of priests here. Hey, uh, they might try to stab you. Would maybe... You know, if Burgar wants to fight <laughs> <laughs> He's looking You might hear from some of them that they uh you know, they're like talking about what they're gonna be doing next and from what you gather, it sounds like they're probably not most of them probably are not going to hang around now because now that the shrine's been, you know, wrecked, most there's not much reason for them to stay here. Uh, yeah. But there are they are thinking like maybe we should leave a few people to like, keep an eye on it just in case like the cultists come back and try to like maybe they have some way to reactivate it or something. Like there's a little, some concern about that potentially, but um... so they're not really sure. But there, there's, there's discussion about that um, that you maybe would overhear while you guys are here a little bit. Uh, in terms mm -hmm. of like getting through the night, though, nothing happens, and it gets to the next day. Sweet. So, new objective is hunting down Akai. Oh, is it payback time for Akai? It's payback time. Alright, that, that <laughs> Tiki can get on board with. She didn't really like Akai. Yeah, that works for me because uh, we'll probably go a little bit longer, but it's probably going to be a short session because I had no idea what you guys were going to do, and that gives me a direction for prep for next week, so. Yay. Was that enough time to finish crafting the armor then no <laughs> you I need like 20 days for that lost... yeah that's why i was confused yeah. yeah it's only been like a couple like it's been like three days i think that you've gotten to work on it or that amber's gotten to work on it basically which was basically the time you guys spent on the boat 
Uh, so we might want to use this R chart to like narrow down where Akai is. So, like, is he on the material plane? Is he in Karamaga? Or within like a day's travel of Karamaga? Sort of questions. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then do you like my pony? And then do you like his, your pony? Do you want to play too? It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so starting out with, is he in Karamaga? Like, is Akai in Karamaga? No, is, is he on first... the material plane? Oh, is, is he on the material plane? Varicia? Yes. That's Amber's okay, he's favorite in question. So that's two. Is he within a day of Karamaga? Uh, no. Huh. So he's not... Uh, is he in bank number? Is that another question? <laughs> no. Is that what you're asking no, now? Is he in Magnamar? Mm, I guess not. Amber advised not to. Uh, is he within a day's travel inland from the Varisian Gulf? Uh, no. Okie dokie. So Actually, no, no, no sorry, revise that. Yes, yes, he is. Okay. So he might be near Riddleport uh, Sandpoint or somewhere else. Uh, so that's four. Uh, is he within a day's travel Magnamar? of Magnamar? Yes. Is, is he, he in, in Mag Magnamar? Yes, he's in Magnamar. Well, it looks like we're doing this again. Back to Magnamar. Uh, does he plan to <laughs> leave Magnamar in the next two weeks? Uh, no. Uh, has he been in contact with anybody we know in Magnamar? Mm, yeah. Yes. Oh. Are you concerned? The map is asks. he currently planning our demise? <laughs> oh yes! Oh yes! <laughs> Does he uh, have your little his your little shopkeeper? How's she doing? Uh oh. Is Trissa okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well. Uh, back to Magnamar, folks. Yeah. Hooray! Magnamar Expedition Force? Expeditionary Force? We we keep going <laughs> up and down this fucking river. Well, no, like yep, I said, they great. keep seeing us pass by. <laughs> when you guys get on the ferry to go towards it, like, you again. There's, like, rumors. Maybe like, I really should have taken doing. teleport. We got frequent... Are you sure you don't want to sign up for our frequent ferry miles program? Yeah. That might be worth it. That might be value. Yeah, what What do I get out I of that? I sign up for that. I become a member. <laughs> become I a member of the Marissia ferry well, system. A, frequent, uh, I want to be a frequent, platinum member. Yeah, the frequent <laughs> frequent sailor miles or whatever. Is that Does that include all-you-can-eat buffet? It better. Or some go to the fix. right fairies. Yeah, it takes more points that way. <laughs> Sign up though, like he lets your business all your business expenses will eventually funnel into your next vacation. It'll be great. Ugh. Right, cuz yeah. Well, we get vacations too, right? Adventures. I don't know. You guys are self-employed. You take your vacations whenever you want. I'm sorry, but being hunted and chased by demons is never a vacation. Well, I just took a, uh, like, two-week vacation making magic items, if you can call that a vacation. It was a was vacation a from vacation? adventuring, at least. 
<laughs> it was vacation for some of you. It wasn't for Amber, but I mean... It's a hobby. It was for me. It was Amber for basically everyone else. Like. Everyone else, pretty much. I mean, nobody else was doing any crafting, right? No. Brugar did some shopping, but the rest of the time he was probably just hanging out. Maybe he went and did some low-level work. I don't know. I didn't did have. I, I, didn't like, just, like, done I didn't have you roll like a profession, but you could. I guess you could have theoretically done like a profession roll or something like that, and said that's what you're doing during the downtime. Profession: tell stories in bar. That's my profession, but no, like my my storytelling is that's. Or yeah, I mean, you probably did that I'm during. A much better storyteller. Yeah, you probably did that as well. But I, I figure maybe maybe there's a chance. Maybe you did a little bit of like uh like really simple like bodyguard kind of work or something maybe during the two weeks yeah possibly uh i mean you can make like there's like the Although rules my services make... have gotten kind of pricey because i as i am an experienced adventurer right maybe you had a hard time finding people that were willing to pay you enough to you were like man none of these jobs are worth taking yeah who has diplomacy in our party now? Uh... I have plus two in negotiating payment for a quest or service that I provide. I have <laughs> five, but no ranks. Sally, no, I, I have, have a rank Sally in diplomacy. Can. She can try if you need her to. I mean, uh, Kale's a diploma or a charisma-based character, so he's mm. double right at it. But yeah, I don't think we have any actual like. Did we never I really have did have? One charisma. We never really did have a diplomacy no, Philippe character. Had a really good diplomacy modifier. That's right, he did actually. So that was that was one thing that you guys are missing out on now is you don't really have like the talky man for you, or a woman. Well, I have three of the talky skills, uh, leveled. I have bluff, intimidate, and sense motive leveled. Those are useful still. Uh, but not not diplomacy. And I have a minus one charisma modifier anyway. All right, so I'm gonna just gloss over the travel because travel's boring, especially at this level. You're not cool. gonna even if I roll even if I rolled a random encounter, you're not gonna encounter anything that's interesting at this level in in Parisia on a ferry. So. Uh, oh, will dragon attack fairy? Maybe, but that's pretty slim chance of that happening, so I'm just going to say it doesn't happen. Cool. Uh, and that is, though, like I said, I know it's a short session, but I uh, also did not have stuff prepped for fighting Akai because I didn't know what you guys were going to do, so... Um, that's I did okay. have a feeling you guys were going to go to the shrine because I had this, this thing that was going to happen. So I had a feeling you guys were probably gonna be like, "Hmm, let's go to the shrine," especially because off camera, off camera, off camera, Felipe did get gonna hit be, uh... by the. Sorry. I don't know if you guys caught. I rolled the. I think I rolled the will save in chat too for him. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't paying looking. attention. Nobody, nobody even noticed. I guess. I listened. I wasn't at my desk like, for most of the so session. I, I knew, like, right before Amber rolled, when I clicked the button. Oh, I yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, I was like, oh, well, nine. Well, he failed the will save. So yeah, he ended up taking some charisma damage. <laughs> it also was only just damage, so it wasn't it was it was more of a flavor thing. It wasn't it actually off, like yeah. something super threatening. Who did? Yeah, he's Philippe? just gonna sleep. Philippe, yeah, but he didn't the thing is is it happened and he and nobody like he didn't go tell the party about it or anything. So he had the same thing happen. If the thing is if he had, it would have been a little bit more obvious because he could have been like, well, why would it only happen to Amber and Philippe? Like, what do they have in common? Oh, they both touched the shrine. Mm. Philippe just thought but it was an after effect. He just being assumed. Resurrected. Yeah, he's like, yeah, so he's just like, oh, so he just didn't say anything about it. He's like, oh, this is just normal. I'll get this over is it. normal getting is. better from yeah. death. Yeah, I'd never have died before, so I don't know, I don't know what it's like. <laughs> Uh, before anybody heads off, I've decided that Bye. you guys are going to level up in my game before no! your book ending fight. Yes, Dang it. Yes. You're just giving me well, more you don't, work to do. You don't want to level up? 
It's just I we, I just leveled up for your game and now I have to level up again and I'm so bad at doing <laughs> it on time. And... You, you can know, just do it right now. This is we're cutting this session no, short. No, we're playing hot. No, we're cutting this session short right now, and you're <laughs> gonna do your level up for Mantis's game right now. We're playing hots though. No, we're we're leveling up your character right now. For next week. Okay. You're leveling up what, your character for like Mantis's 12 game or something. We're leveling up to level twelve, then I think. Yeah, Jesus Christ! I've never had a character that high a level before. So I have. We're done then for today. Yes, yeah. we are done for today. We're going to be beginning next session basically as you get to Magnamar and okay. begin like trying to figure out where the hell Akai is and what he's been what uh, he's up to in Magnamar. Maybe you could also like rematch against uh Hawash Day or something. Maybe you guys could take him now. Yeah. Rematch. If he you guys did prom up like 3 level. Eh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't level him up 3 times. <laughs> We've only leveled up twice. Hawash Day's gotten three levels. <laughs> like, what has he been doing during this time? It's like, oh, you know... Like, why aren't we doing what he's doing? You know, I went out to the astral plane. I got one of those god-slaying weapons, because I was jealous of yours. I got oh, a hyperbolic man, if I time use that finger. against him, that would be like... <laughs> that would probably we be haven't trained even told times him gravity. about that. That's true, actually. He doesn't know about it. You guys didn't have access to... Like, that's why you guys fought him, was to get access to that. And you learned the, learned how he did the... Like, got the copy. He knows you know how to do this spell that mimics his ability. But, uh, yeah, he doesn't actually know what you guys are doing with it. Uh, also, before anybody leaves, uh, with regards to my game, I'm going to do... There are going to be some buffs to like some story items for you guys uh, okay so uh, vicious has been pleased with smacking things <laughs> uh, the vicious damage will now apply on critical hits it will be doubled on crit oh damn and uh, the artifacts get slightly stronger Uh, for Hester, the Library of Babylon, uh, it now works as a <coughs> D2 rounds. It's pretty game-changing. Time, time stop. Yeah, it's pretty game-changing. So it's a 50% chance of two rounds. Yeah, it's a 50% chance of two rounds. Okay. And uh, Zerdurium's enhancements go up by one on both armor and weapons while using uh, Damn. the arms of men. That's dope. And you can now use the item like you can use the star chart. Commune. What do you mean? What Deacon was it commune. before once per week? Or something? It was, uh, yeah, it was commune once per week, or divination once per day. Now you can just commune once a day. Cool. That's a lot to the campaign, I feel like, having commune like it's it makes it a lot easier weird. for the gm in some ways yeah, oh, i don't have it... to give them hints they can just ask me questions perfect <laughs> that's if they remember so to that's, use that's just the how i imagine things. it yeah it's really useful when you when you have yeah when you have like an open-ended situation there because it lets it lets you kind of figure out a direction so it's really nice in these more open-ended kind of things. So, wait, the armor bonus is plus four? What is it? What is it now? Oh, well, my character sheet says bonuses. plus three. What is your weapon enhancement bonus? Uh, plus two. And your armor... Uh, I feel like uh, I just... Did you get it backwards? 
I feel like you got it backwards. Like the armor should be one less than the weapon, but I don't know. <laughs> no. Okay. It's mostly um, you, a defensive you, thing. You leveled it up like I don't know three or four sessions ago. I'll be right back. You you do I not think... get it. You do not get a bonus then because you got it at like level eleven. Yeah, I was gonna say like it, getting get another plus one two is... plus three for this fight. Yeah, yeah. I say it, it would be a little bit too strong, I think, if otherwise. <laughs> Can I give the end boss guy tuberculosis? Maybe. Uh, maybe.